Okay guys, this is Miss Walters and I'm going to help you out with the random number table now. Um, some of you guys didn't copy down examples during class or something, so you're having a hard time doing your homework. So let's see what we can do. This is the random number table that I'm going to use for the problems we're about to do. The first one says, use the random number table to simulate flipping a coin five times. The thing to remember when you're simulating flipping a coin is that there are two outcomes. There's heads and then there's tails. Heads and tails have equally likely outcomes when you're flipping a dice, which means that there's a 50-50 probability. Um, you're just as likely to get heads as you are to get tails. So we need to make sure that we split the numbers up in a way that there's also an equally likely chance of getting whatever number. So we can split them evens and odds. We can split them 0 through 4 and 5 through 9. Or we can just say, use the numbers 1 and 2, and then just ignore all the other numbers. I'm going to use evens and odds, because then I get to use all of the numbers, and I also um, I mean, I have an easier time seeing evens and odds than anything else. I'm going to assign evens to heads and odds to tails, but you can flip-flop that if you want to. Now, if I look at the first coin flip, it's an odd number, so that's going to be tails. The next one is a 6, that's even. A 7 is odd. A 1 is odd. And a 2 is even. So, after my 5 coin flips, I have 2 heads and 3 tails. Now, let's look at the next example. It says to use the random number table to simulate rolling a six-sided die eight times. Well, a six-sided die is just a die like you would use when you were playing Monopoly or something that has the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, you're equally likely to roll any of these numbers on a six-sided die. Um, now, since, since these are already numbers, I think it's easiest just to assign each side a number. So one can be one, two is two, three is three, and then four, five, and six. So what do you do with the seven, eight, nine, and zero? Well, we're just gonna ignore those. Those don't matter we still have an equal chance of getting one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's all we need. So let's look up here at the random number table and see what we get. We're first gonna roll a three and then a six. So we have a three and then a six. Well, what about the seven? There's no seven, so we ignore that one. Then we have one and two. Then we have a 4, we skip the 8, we have a 1 and a 2, we skip the 0 and then we roll a 5. That gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That gives us 8 times. So that means that out of our 8 die rolls we have 2 1's, 2 2's, a three, a four, a five, and a six. That's all there is to that. All right, the last one says, to use the random number table to simulate randomly selecting two people from a group of 250 people. All right, when we're talking about sampling, you can have several different size groups. If you only have, let's say, eight people in your group, you can just number them one through eight. But if you have 15 people in your group, you need to make sure that all 15 people have the same number of digits. So you can order them from 0, 1 to 1, 5. So everybody gets two digits. If you have 150 people, you have 0, 0, 1 because we need all three digits so that this guy has the same number of digits as number 150. Let's say you have 13,000 people in your sample. Well, then we'll need up to 13,000 numbered. That's five digits. So you need the first person to be 0, 0, 0, 
zero, one. Okay, that's the important thing to remember here when you're talking about sampling. So since we have 250 people, that means everybody's gonna have three digits. We're gonna start off with person number 001 and go through person number 250. Well, we need to select two people using the random number table. So let's look up here. The first three digits we come to, we're using three digits because that's how many digits everybody has. The first three digits we come to are 367. Well, 367 is outside of our range. It's much bigger than our top number of 250. The next three numbers we have are 124. 124. So that means that whoever has the number 124 will be selected for our sample. The next three numbers are 812. Well, that's too high. Um, what about 057? Is 057 in this range? Yep. So that means that the second person chosen is going to be number 057. Well, now we have our two people that are going to be chosen from this group. Now, that doesn't look like people, but remember in class that we gave everybody a number, and then when we figured out which numbers were going to be chosen for our sample, those people got to stand up and get candy? Well, that's the same thing here. Each one of these 250 people have a number, and whenever their number gets chosen, they get whatever the prize is. I don't know. Maybe they're going to Spain. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, um, shoot me an email through the website, mathgeek83.com, and I'll send you an answer as soon as I can. Have a good night.